Anna, today marks the one year anniversary of the death of George Floyd. The 46 year old black man murdered at the hands of Minneapolis police, sparking a racial, in, uh, racial justice movement and demands for police reform. And today, local activists are speaking out, still pushing for change. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks, live at the George Floyd Memorial in downtown Salt Lake City, where the community is coming together to honor his legacy. Haley. Well, Utahns are coming together tonight to remember the life of George Floyd. His murder sparked action and conversation around the world, and some tell me it's even bringing about change. I think the world has changed in a year by um, actually accepting that there's an issue here. Hashtag, we are done dying, uh, because we've seen so many people uh, killed, uh, and, and we have had it even after the death of George Floyd. George Floyd's murder has communities addressing racial injustices and change in policing. Change is happening, uh, and, and I know that you know some people may think that it's slow, but uh, sometimes it takes time to get things in place and working. Here in Utah, I'm told 21 new bills have been passed pertaining to law enforcement. We uh, eliminated some lethal weapon options and things like that. Um, those are, are progressive. Mayor Jenny Wilson says Salt Lake County is in pursuit of structural change to ensure everything we do is through a lens of diversity, inclusion, and equality. Janetta Williams, the president of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, says change is happening and they will continue to work with local leaders. We don't want uh, other folks across our state to feel that we're not working with law enforcement because we are working very close with law enforcement. Uh, we've seen a lot of changes. And their hope is that people feel safe and everyone is protected through their rights. Now again, this candlelight vigil is just beginning. If you look around, you can see people are just starting to show up. It goes until 8 o'clock tonight here in downtown. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Haley. We'll stay